Hey everybody, welcome back to the beginning of Season 2 of Bearded Cubing 101. My name is Joe, I'm your host, the Bearded Cuber. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about um, a topic that I really can't avoid talking to you about any longer. Um, it's Well, the title of the video is Notations, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly Truth. Um, okay, so as usual, I never script anything that I ever do um, for this show. Um, what I do is the day before I'll write some stuff down like on a piece of paper and just, you know, just some bullet points that gives me uh, topic ideas uh, to talk to you about. And then, um, then I just go off from there. Um, so I might be a little bit all over the board today because this is kind of a, it's a difficult topic to talk about. Um, but we're going to cover uh, uh, what is an algorithm. Uh, what are notations? How to decipher and apply notations? Um, I'm going to teach you the difference between prime and inverted. Um, and then I'm going to talk about the video title itself. Uh, the, so I'm going to point out the good parts about notations, the bad parts about notations, and what I think is the ugly truth about notations. Um, cause you know, and I, listen, I need you to put yourself in my shoes here just for a second. Um, I've got a lot of people that, uh, are watching that, you know, write in and say, Hey, you know what? Uh, I like your show, but I need you to speed it up a little bit. And then I got other people that say, um, I like your show, but I need you to slow down. Um, so I'm kind of, you know, I'm stuck, you know, in, in, in between a rock and a hard place here where, you know, I, I know I can't please everybody. So the only thing I can do is present you with the information um, and, you know, really it's going to be up to you to decide whether, you know, you need to fast forward or watch the video several times, um, you know, because I, I, I really I can't please everybody. Um, but the thing is, uh, you know, a lot of my videos tie together. So it, no video is just like a one standalone video. Um, they all tie into one another in some way or another. Um, and if I could, I'd like to direct you over to um, my Scoob Cube Extreme video. Um, if you haven't watched that, um, you, you don't have to watch the whole thing, but at timeline uh, minute 19 um, of the Scoob Cube Extreme, video the one that the video that I did on this cube right here um, I talk about pertinent information that relates to what I'm talking about now so if you'd like to check that out um, go ahead and do so also um, on my I think it was actually my very first cubing video I did it on the 3 by 3 at um, solving cubes is easy part 1 um, at minute 19 minutes and 32 seconds um, I also talk about um, pertinent information that I'm talking about now as well so if you want to watch those two videos at you know the, those timelines um, that will help tie into what we're discussing today okay so um, <clears throat> so let's get into it uh, what's what is an algorithm okay so an algorithm is in cubing terms it's basically a set of moves um predetermined set of moves that often require uh, a setup move um for the algorithm to work so um you know and you've been doing this the whole time you know uh that you know you you've been watching my videos and you've been following along you've been doing algorithms and maybe you don't even know it i call it move sets okay algorithms move sets whatever it's the same thing it's uh it's a series of predetermined moves that, you know, if you've done the move correctly and you've set the cube up correctly, you're going to get the outcome that you want. You know, it just shovels pieces around. Um, okay, so what are notations? So notations are, <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm, I'm later on in this video, I'm going to do a close up like I usually do with the cube right here in front of me. And then I'm going to show you and I'm, we're going to do we're going to go over a few algorithms and I'm going to give you the notations for those algorithms. I'm not going to write them down for you because remember that that part's up to you. That's part that part is your learning process. Um, but I'm going to show you and then I will give you one example. I will write out one algorithm. It's called the soon al algorithm. 
Um, and that one's really important. You're going to use that throughout your career of uh, solving cubes. Um, but I'm definitely going to give you an example um, to show you how to write algorithms out. Okay, and then uh, then from there on, it'll be up to you. Um, and then you know we're going to go and talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly truth. Okay, so um, what are notations? So a notation is, um, you know, it might be. Uh, Hmm, let's see, how am I going to explain this? It's going to be related to the cube as far as if I say F, that means you turn the front face clockwise. If I say R, you mean you turn the right face clockwise. If I say RI or inverted or prime, which is the same thing, inverted and prime is the same thing, um, or just counterclockwise. You just turn it counterclockwise. Okay, so uh, the notation is uh, F is for fa uh, the face, B is for the back, D is for down, uh, R is for right, and uh, L is for left. Okay, and the, the notations, uh, you know, it tells you whether to go clockwise or anti-clockwise or counterclockwise. Um, and that's it. That's what notations are. And they write, and you know, people write out the, all these notations and you just follow along. Okay. So, uh, you know, um, R. Okay. All right. Great. Turn it R. F. Okay. So you do an F move. Uh, L. You do an L move. Okay. And that's what you do. Uh, so that, that's what notations are. It's just, it, it gives, uh, each side. A, a notation of you know you know this is D this is U the top is U for up the B is back for you know the B is back for back I guess and uh, F is for your front face okay um, so let's talk about um, oh okay, and again prime and inverted are the same thing so um, let's talk about the video title um, notations, the good, the bad, and the ugly truth. Um, so let's start with the good. So what is the good thing about notations? Well, just like anything else, um, the more knowledge you have about anything is powerful. Okay. Um, so knowledge is power. And I mean, I don't care if you're, you know, whatever, whatever you do, whatever you're doing, the more you know about that subject, the more powerful you become. So that's the that's one of the good things. Um, it also, then uh, it leads into cube interpretation. You can look at that cube and you know which size you're right, which size you're left. You have it helps you build your spatial orientation. You know um, because I can simply take this cube and say okay well i'm designated this as the front face and i can hold it over here and still say that this is the front face and not the right okay i can still say that this is the right if i wanted to even though it's not um and i'd say this is the front face even though it's not facing me you know it helps you build your spatial orientation i know that's a confusing premise but just trust me just because you you've designated this as your front face just because it's not facing you doesn't mean that it's not the front face anymore. Okay, so that helps you with your spatial orientation, um, and then uh, it uh, obviously helps you how to decipher code. So the notation is code, and uh, all you're doing is you're deciphering it through means of the the cube, right? And that's uh, those are all good points. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the bad point about notation is, um, you know, relying on it way too much. You know, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you, uh, you know, later when you get much better at cubing, you're not going to be thinking, you know, F-I-R-I-U-I-D, you know, you're not going to be thinking that, man. You're, you're, you're going to find a way, your brain's going to find a way to detach from your whatever your hands are doing you know you're just going to be you're going to be doing things uh sub sub uh, subconsciously really i think um because i'm not really sitting here thinking about what i'm doing when i'm cubing um you know my i don't know my hands just do it you know and that comes from a lot of 
time and practice, you know. Um, so it's not like, you know, you, you're going to have to sit there and think about it anymore. Your hands are just going to do it. Um, your brain's just, you know, you got to allow your brain to be free. Um, but obviously you have to know the the notations you have to know the algorithms and you have to practice but after a while it's just all going to be second nature to you um and you know the thing is if you think about notations way too much um man it starts to consume you man you know you know what i'm saying it really starts to eat you eat it yeah um because you know it just uh it consumes you man It, it just uh you know, you think about it way too much and it bogs you down. It, it, it bogs down your mind, you know, and it makes your mind run slower, I think. Um, and I think, you know, it, it, it holds you back in a way, you know, um, from uh, freeing your mind, man. <laughs> you know, I don't know, really know how else to say it, but, you know, if, if you let these notations, you know, uh, uh, overwhelm you it, it, it's it's gonna be uh, it's gonna bog you down um, okay so and then it, that goes into um, instead of using the notations as a tool um, you're gonna end up using it like a crutch you know um, and that's not good you know you want to be you know when you're cubing man you want this to be real you know organic man just let it flow you know because if you're all you're thinking about is notation 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 man it's gonna drive you crazy you know what i'm saying um so you kind of have to be aware of it but after you're aware of it uh, you know you made yourself aware of it and you've practiced and practiced and practiced you gotta let it go and just you know let it let it free flow man you know um and yeah, you're gonna screw up for sure. You're definitely gonna screw up, man. Uh, you know, if you don't screw up, there's something wrong. You know, uh, I, I've I screwed up, you know, countless times. You know, so what? So what? That's how you learn. You know, you learn through making mistakes. That's part of life. You know, and not just cubing, man. I mean, that is part of life. Making mistakes. That's how you learn. You know, hopefully you don't have to make too many mistakes. You know. But, uh, you know, you just got to learn from the mistakes that you did make, you know, so you won't make them again, you know. And if you do make them again, so what? You know how to easily correct them then, you know. Same thing goes with uh, cubing. Um, Okay, so we just talked about uh, three good points and uh, a few, uh, three or four bad points of uh, notation. And now I'm going to give you what I think I believe is the ugly truth of notation um and so i wrote it down and let me read it to you um i think that some people uh hide behind hide behind uh notations in order to make the cube appear to be more difficult than it really is so meaning like if someone's teaching you how to cube um because i mean i've seen some you know cubing tutorials where even i'm like what you know, I, you know, I mean, I'm watching this stuff going, you know, if, if I'm not getting it, what this person's laying down, you know, if I'm not picking it up, you know, I, I, don't, I don't get it. You know, I don't know how, you know, uh, someone else is going to really get it, you know, if they're not, you know, uh, really familiar with notations or, you know, uh, you know, good at really cubing, you know. Um, so I'm like, man, you know, I, I almost feel like, you know, they're making it more difficult than it really needs to be, you know, and you kind of hiding behind the notations where, yeah, I'm giving you the answers, but I want to make this as difficult for you as possible, you know, and I think what, you know, really what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it, I'm trying to simplify it as much as possible, um, you know, by giving you alternative uh, methods, you know, like sometimes I say a counting algorithm and I'll just do a one, two, three, four, you know, or, um, you know, I'll put it like in a little song form, you know, um, you know, there's other methods of getting these cubes done. It's not all about notations, man. You know, you eventually, you know, yeah, you definitely you want to be aware of notations. Yeah, you want to study those notations and yeah, get familiar, you know, yes, get familiar with them, sure. But man, I'll tell you what, 
don't don't uh don't get so tied up in it that it consumes you because it will eat you alive it really will um and uh okay so you know and i kind of compared it to being um you know <laughs> like the letter of the law man you know oftentimes legal documents are very complicated the way that they're written you know but in those complicated uh written letters um, you know, lies a solution that's actually quite easy. You know, um, <laughs> you know, it, it, you know, it could be a message as simple as you know, hey, keep off the grass. You know, something like that. Where it's like, you know, you, you didn't have to go through this whole song and dance just to tell me that. You know, um, so I'm gonna try to do what I can to give you a good mix of uh, notations. Um, and then my own style of, you know, how to solve the cues by just simply saying, you know what, here, just turn the bottom, you know, uh, to your left, okay? Instead of, you know, saying uh, DI, you know, um, or, you know, just turning, to, you know, turn the right side up, you know, instead of just R, okay? Um, but whatever I can do, you know, and then really it's gonna be up to you to decide, you know, for yourself, whether, you know, you want to, whatever, whatever style you want for yourself, that's going to be up to you. But, you know, I'm going to teach you, teach it to you. Uh, and I'm going to show you everything that I, you know, I can as, as best as I can, as simply as I can, but then it's going to be up to you to decide what you want to do with that information. You know, if you want to turn all that into notations, if, you know, and, after a while, I think that you're going to be like, you know what, uh, this guy might be right. You know, uh, you know, this whole notation thing is going to drive you crazy. Um, but, you know, if it works for you, then it's great. It doesn't work for me because I'll tell you what, if I try doing it slowly with notations, <laughs> you, know, you know, I get confused. You know what I'm saying? So you kind of have to eventually find a way where, and I'm, I'm, I promise you, if you keep practicing, you're going to find a way where you're just going to be able to be, you're going to be doing things and you're going to be like, oh, man, I didn't even think about it. I just did it. I, you know, and, uh, that's just the way it's going to go. Um, all right, well, let's see. I guess that's all I wrote down. Um, but yeah, if you would check out those, uh, the Scube Cube video at, uh, the Scube Cube Extreme, I have two videos of Scube Cubes. But the Scube Cube Extreme, the one that looks like this at a timeline 19, 19 minutes, um, and then the solving uh, the cubes is easy part one at 19 minutes and 32 seconds, I start talking about notations and stuff like that. Um, okay, so let's uh, end this and we'll get into a uh, close up demonstration. And uh, hopefully, and this is not going to be the last you're going to hear of uh notations and algorithms you know i mean we, we, this is a work in progress so please please be patient you know there's a lot of information it's in it's difficult to know where to start how fast to go um you know and this that and the other you know to to properly train somebody especially when they're not sitting right here in front of me you know um you know and I, you know i've got everybody from different skill levels um but, uh, you know, I think people that are, you know, you know, inter at least intermediate cubing, cubers, um, you know, they're, you know, they're digging what I'm saying. You know, they're, they're picking that up saying, you know, I don't really, really think about it anymore. I just kind of do it, you know, and uh, you will, you will get there. You will get to that point. I will get you there, you know, one way or another. And if you have any questions, if you really have comments and concerns and you, you know, you have something to say, Go ahead and uh, email me, man. BeardedCubing101 at gmail.com. Uh, you know, write it out in the comment section. I will answer. Okay. Um, I will try to do the best I can to give you the information that you want. Um, you know, and uh, okay. I don't know. Let's, that, guess that's it. Um, let's uh, get into the demonstration. Cool. Okay, cool. So we're going to use this 3x3 three three cube and we're going to do a few algorithms and to get you familiar, familiarized with what we're doing. Um, okay, so white on top, red facing us. Uh, we're going to do the Soong algorithm, which is R, U, 
R I U R to U R I. Okay, and that gives us our fish pattern: head, body, tail. Um, oftentimes with algorithms, and uh, you're going to have to do a setup move. So one of the setup moves is going to be putting the head in the bottom left corner. So that's the setup move. In order, for, now you're going to do the algorithm. In, the, in order for the algorithm to work, though, you have to you you got to do your setup move. So let's do that again. Uh, R U R I U R to U R I. Okay, we got the fish again. Do the setup move where you put the head on the bottom left. Okay, that's the setup move, and then you do it again. R U R I U R to U R I. Okay, and then you just do a to U and the, the cube is solved. So let's do the same thing and we'll just use a different algorithm. Uh, <clears throat> let's do F for front face, U, R, now backwards, U, I, R, I, F, I. Okay, here we have uh, the setup move is already complete because we have a white line here. Okay, if it if it was like this, it's not going to be like that, but a setup move would be, okay, we're going to have the white line going horizontally across. We'll do the same thing. Uh, F, U, R, those were all clockwise, now counterclockwise. U, I, R, I, F, I. Okay, and we have our little L shape. We're going to keep that right where it's at, and we're going to do the same thing. F, U, R, U, I, R, I, F, I. Okay, now we have our cross. Anytime you have a cross, do your setup move where you have the white piece on your right. Okay, so you have a white piece right there. And uh, let's do the soon algorithm. R, U, R, U, R, one, two, down. Okay, um, you got your fish. Okay, that's the setup move right there is the fish. So let's do the soon algorithm again. We'll do it the right way with the correct notations. R, U, R, I, U, R, to U, R, I. Okay, so with white is, the, the top is complete. And now we have a situation where we need to find headlights. Remember, headlights are two of the same colors. Okay, so that is not a headlight. These are not headlights. These are not headlights, and these are not headlights. So we have to create headlights. All right, and we're gonna do that with uh, the headlight algorithm okay so just pick any side uh, I, I guess we were doing red so we'll stick with red um, RI F RI back to one two R FI RI back to one two and uh, R2, okay. Uh, now we just look around. Oh, we got headlights, All right? So you put the headlight to its color. So blue to blue, keep that uh, towards the back, have it face away from you. Let's do that headlight algorithm again, because remember when I got headlights all the way around. All right, one, two, three, three, three. one, two, one, two, okay. And again, that was uh, R I F R I back to R F I R I back to R two. Okay. Um, now we have headlights all the way around, right? This just happens to be complete. We'll keep it to the back. And um, if you saw the uh, the the original uh, three by three video, I did a. I, I did a different kind of a cal, uh, counting algorithm. Uh, we'll do the same thing now. Um, so it, it, all, it all starts off with a setup move. The setup move is R2. So bring the um, 
this yellow all the way up to the top. So that's one, two, R2, right? And you're gonna go U, R, U, uh, R, I, U, I, R, I, U, I, R, I, U, R, I, okay? And uh, <clears throat> that shuffle these pieces around, um, okay? And then you're gonna do the same thing. Just do your setup move, which is R2. And you go uh, U, R, U, R, I, U, I, R, I, U, I, R, I, U, R. Oops. Um, R, I, sorry. Um, okay, and that solves the cube. Um, okay, so let's bring in this one now. This here is the three by three by six. This is the next cube that I'm gonna show you how to solve. Um, and I'm just gonna give you a small preview um, of how we go about solving uh, this cube and we'll do a little bit of a notation. Um, so one of the algorithms that you're gonna have to learn is, oh, and by the way, um, in this cube, these pieces on top and on the bottom are actually bigger than uh, these. So it won't turn this way because I don't know if you can actually see it, but these pieces are bigger than these. So it kind of, it blocks it from turning. Um, but this would be an R move right there. Okay, so you, you can see the difference between, um, you know, a fully symmetrical cube like this one, um, where, you know, if I just do an R move, of course I can turn it. Um, with this one, I can't just do an R move and turn it. I would have to do an R2. So this would be R1, just like that. And then R2 would be like this. Okay, so I'd always be saying R2. So um, let's go. Uh, here's a new algorithm for you. It's R2U. Okay, and I just turned all these as a U. Okay, I just turned three layers as a U. Okay, so it's R2U, R2UI, just turn all three layers back, R2. Okay, and you can see what that did to the cube. Kind of messed it up a bit, huh? But let's do it again. R2U, R2UI, R2. Okay, and again, it's just R2, it's just flip it all the way, invert it, um, U, clockwise r2 ui counterclockwise r2 okay and that's just a little simple um, exercise you can do uh, so it's r2 u r2 ui r2 you're going to find with these larger cubes you're going to have to move these things around a little bit because sometimes it'll lock up um, this cube's not so bad as far as locking up but um, there are other cubes that are just, you know, oh man, they're, they're very difficult and, they, you know, very uh, temperamental and you'd have to do a lot of this deal to unlock it. Um, okay. But um, that's basically it. So, um, you know, and then there's other more advanced moves like, um, like an M move. All right. That's the middle. And then there's equator moves you know, where you just do this deal. Then there's other axes that you can do, like the um, Y and Z axis and X axis. Um, but, you know, really, I, I don't even really use those, so you're not really gonna need to know them. Um, okay, but that's basically it. Um, all right, well, we're gonna see you in the next cube, and uh, till then, you take care, make sure you practice, and uh, we're gonna, don't worry, we're gonna get y'all squared away. We'll see you soon on Barry Cubing 101. Take care.